Grade 8 Math, number 1.2c, Sets of Real World Numbers. I made a chart similar to this yesterday, and I posted it up on Twitter. This one's a little more detailed because it explains how each of these are numbers of the real world. So we're going to start with the beginning of our tree here with real numbers. As you can see, real numbers break up either into rational or irrational numbers. The real numbers is the root of the tree. It's the trunk of the tree. See that? It's where the first two branches come off, rational or irrational. So the real numbers are all of these, okay? For irrational numbers, it would be like pi or the square root of 2 or square root of 3 or even the square root of pi over 4 as a fraction. The circumference of a dinner plate would be considered an irrational number because we have to use pi to find the circumference, don't we? So, for rational numbers, well look, that's everything else. That's where all the branches start going. So for real numbers, you have either rational or, or irrational, and it stops right here. Now for the rational numbers, we've got decimals, fractions, integers, and perfect squares. The decimals are positive or negative. It would be like the balance of a bank account when you deposit or withdraw money. You'd have positive or negative decimals for that bank account. Fractions, those are in the rational family. Positive or negative, it would be a slice of a pizza. It's one-eighth of a pizza. Integers, positive and negative whole counting numbers. It would be like the outdoor temperature. It's eight below wind chill factor, or it's a 72 degree day. Those are positive and negative counting numbers. Those are integers. Perfect squares, well, that would be like tiling a 12 foot by 12 foot room. And 12 by 12 would be 144. The square root of 144 is 12, see? It's a perfect square, nice whole numbers. Now for integers, it breaks off into whole numbers. So whole numbers are integers and they're positive. The negatives stay here, see? Now these are just positive. And the whole numbers are like, how many boys are in a classroom? Well, there's 11. It includes zero, and it's all the numbers going up to infinity from there. Natural numbers, those are all positive also. They would be like the number of toes on our feet or the number of fingers on our hand. And it starts with a 1 and goes on to infinity. So 0 is in the whole numbers and not the natural numbers. Now there's some debate over where it belongs, that 0. It's considered a natural number in some mathematics. Some mathematics puts it over here, like in set theory or computer science. But most mathematicians put it here with the whole numbers, okay? So you can put it here and not worry about getting it marked wrong unless you're in a computer science class, okay? So those are the sets of real world numbers and how they're grouped and the sets that they're in and hopefully this is going to help you remember which is which. And I'm going to post this up on Twitter also, so don't forget I'm on Twitter now. And if this is helpful, please hit the like button so I know I'm helping you. I'll see you next video. Bye.